Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Black Vegan. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how you can make your own tuna fish by using chickpeas, which are gabonzo beans. And you're going to need some of the few items that I'm showing you here, which were um, vegan mayo, some relish, paprika, Himalayan salt or black salt, and pepper, celery, and onions. Now I already chopped up my onions. So here you see me actually chopping up the gabonzo beans. I'm actually, I'm actually using a handheld mixer, which is a little difficult sometimes, but it does work. It's going to take a little bit of more, you know, hand motion or whatnot. So I'm still do using my hand. So that is what it looks like so far after you use the um, hand mixer. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead on and start adding your uh, condiments. I'm adding my relish here. And you can add whatever relish you want, guys. Any kind will do as long as it's relish. But if you're vegan, it's better to have kosher relish if you're really, you know, picky. I'm adding my celery and my chopped onions. And you can use any kind of onion, whether it's uh, red onions, purple onions, whatever you call it. They actually call it purple onions. <laughs> but yeah, you can use any kind of onions. You can use any kind of scallions as long as they're in the onion family. From here, I'm showing you the texture along with the onions and the celery. Now you're going to use some black pepper, I mean black salt or Himalayan salt, whichever choice, whichever one you want to use, that's the one you use. And here, I'm going to use my pepper grinder and a little pepper here, actually adding a lot of pepper. Look at that. She's still adding pepper, right? She's still adding pepper. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit. I'm probably going to do two because I love paprika. So there's the um, one, and you don't need much. I'm saying you don't much, need much, but I'm going to put another. <laughs> and there's the other. So now I'm going to use my Hellman's Vegan Mayonnaise. So guys, the vegan mayonnaise mean there are no eggs in the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is produced, made without eggs. So, and I actually picked up this mayonnaise. I actually bought two when I went because I couldn't find it at the other places. I got it from Walmart. So here I am mixing up all of our ingredients, y'all. It's looking so good. Look at that. And it's so thick. It's just like the texture, guys, of actual tuna. So you're really not missing out. And with those added ingredients that I put in there, it tastes, you're just acting, basically what you're doing, imitating tuna fish that is not tuna fish made from fish. You're actually using the chickpeas, which are gabonzo beans, to create the texture of the same thing. So you're just going to keep mixing it until you get all the things mixed up. And that is what you're going to get right there. Looks like real tuna, right? I know. Look at that. So thick and chunky. So here, guys, I got one of my street taco wraps with some red leaf lettuce and Boston leaf lettuce. And I'm just adding my tuna right on top of it, like so. Looks really good, doesn't it? So we're going to add us a pickle because what is a sandwich without a pickle? 
And these are kosher pickles that I picked up from Audi. So guys, there you have it. Look at that. You're going to smash your street flour tortilla together. Ooh, wee, doesn't that look good, y'all? I know. Let me know in the comments what you think because I know you're going to try it. So guys, that is our street, uh, that's the street taco flour tortilla I usually use for my street tacos, but there is our tuna list tuna fish with our kosher pickle, yes. All right guys, until next time, remember to eat yourself well to better health. We love you.